Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and you can visit my homepage for accessing much more details about me and very importantly leaving a feedback to me. Now really as I promised this course will thoroughly went to uh, a very comprehensive details and it is. So let us try to proceed and learn some very good important commands that you can that will help you actually to get penetrate into the more of the injections. And for this particular video, instead of making all the things messing around, I have created already a command.txt file that you can have access and can get all the commands that I'll be using in this particular video. And if you haven't watched the previous double query injection video, I highly recommend that you please go back, refresh your memories. And if you have understood that video very clearly, this video will be just a glimpse for you. For you. So let's try to have move, move ahead in our SQL injection lab. And what we have got here in the master course that you will see that command d.txt file is already here with you. And what you have to do certainly is use this file and use some of the commands that I'm writing out here. So let me just write a couple of them. I hope it is quite visible. Hyphen u, the user is root, then a hyphen p, that is two. So MySQL prompt is up and running. What I'll do, I'll use the database that is security. Okay, so database is now a security. And now what we will do, we will open up our command d.txt file, which is just here. And we will be focusing here what we are trying to do as we have already discussed all these things in the details in our double query injection. And the same thing is going to follow up here. So the very first command here is select database. Now what this command is going to do, it is going to select the database. Let's try that. Yes, it is selecting the database. And what happen if I actually modify my command by uh, just making it as a core query that is select database and concatting with that. We are just making a try for it. And we also try to do that, did that already in our previous video that was for double query injection. Now you see, that it is again displaying the database name, but here the name has become the long, the table name. But what if I add some randomness to it as well? Now, we have already discussed what this rand command and this floor command actually are being utilized. If you forgot that, it's time, it's a very good time to actually uh, repeat those videos. So now you see there is security and there is a zero at the end. Now, in order to make some modifying changes just for the visual purpose, you can add some things here like the still sign or any sign which you want to really have. So I really I'm really impressed with the till sign and what I'll do, I'll add up here. And what I'm doing actually here is, I'm again adding some randomness at the end of the name of the database. And I'm adding all these still sign and everything just for the sake of visuality, nothing else. So here what we have got, the till sign is here and we have got some randomness that is zero because what we have done, we have although multiplied it by two, but here random is actually uh, multiplying it with two, but really we have got a function in the function of random is zero. So what I can do here is I can actually call something else like here we have asked for the database, but now here we can ask also for the select database and we can put up the whole query that is from information underscore schema dot tables. Now let us see what happens if I put this query. Now as you can see, I have got the whole list of database apart from the zero or one that is completely a randomness. I hope you understand this. But now let us do something in interesting. What I can do here is I can put all this query, but really, you know what is the problem out here? The problem is very simple that if I scroll it a little bit up, what you'll notice here is, let me go a little bit up. This is the problem, a very, very big name. Now we have already understood in the previous videos that how we can make an alias for it by just introducing some fact like here we have got this uh, C actually here. Now this is C will actually make this all of the things a bit shorter. So let's try to do that. And what we can do here is, let me delete it and put up new query. So the C is actually going to help us in this case. 
and although we have returned the same number of queries but what we have got at the top okay so here it is so this C is really really a good one and what we are trying to do is we are trying to dump uh, error in such a controlled manner that we got some result in that particular error so this is going to be the concept for our SQL double query injection on these form so what additionally I can do I can put this query as it is and here let's copy this and what I'm doing here is I am just adding a few things like I'm adding a, a count function which will count up all the things and at the second one I'm just uh, adding some randomness the C plus I'm also adding from information underscore schema dot tables and importantly group by C so I hope you are quite aware about why these things are being used as we have discussed so much details in the previous video now here is the important thing that we want to see actually here it says duplicate entry but our core command is still out here that is database which is dumping out the database here now this is really really important now what else you can do let me go to this core query part and change it to something else like I want to change it to version now what happened it is dumping me out the database version what happen if I use something else let me dump user it says root at the rate localhost now this is the important part and the important thing that you need to remember from the last video now we have already understood that how these commands work and everything and also what I've done in this command list I have added up at the last that which is going to be the important thing for you here it is at the bottom for the next video of course I'll be with you in the next video to help you out at a certain stage but really from this stage I'll be pushing out the burdens on your shoulders as well because it would be just a spoon feeding if you are not using your brains and everything else so I hope the video was quite clear for you and you have understood the double query injection remember the double query injection is really really important and you should take care of it learn these commands if you are just confused up this in this video then probably it is not a good time to watch this video because you have skipped a few things from the last videos that is from double query injection video make sure that you master it perfectly after watch this video this will be as smooth as possible so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching.